Okay, so let me show you what I'm seeing. So first of all, I don't see any, um, usually if you have a, ca a performance plugin installed, it'll say it here at the bottom. So SiteGround does have its own performance plugin, which is pretty good, but I like to use WP Rocket, which I have an agency license for. So if you'd like me to configure that and um, see if it works, you can use it for free. If you bought it on your own, it'd be like 80 bucks. But I mean, that's, that's definitely not the only thing you can do. But normally installing a plugin and properly configuring it generally is about 80% of the... Um, of the fix. Not all the time. Some usually sometimes usually these jobs take about an hour, but sometimes they can go on days and days and days. So it's really it's really hard to say. Um, so looking at your waterfall chart, well let me do this. So I go to your website, and if I new incognito window, control V, one Mississippi two <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> this is about three and a half seconds. <coughs> oh sorry. And you can see it is there's a little hitch there. So for example, if you go to my company website, that's actually slower than I'd like, but it, see, it didn't really have that hitch. Um, and I also do security audits and SEO stuff. Um, if you have, haven't done a security audit on your website, I would definitely recommend that. Um, it's really not that hard to compromise sites these days, but don't want to get too much off topic. So going to your waterfall chart. So I don't know if you know what this stuff is. The three metrics, Google, main metrics Google uses to determine how fast the site is is largest contentful paint. This has to do with things loading on the screen. Cumulative layout shift. This has to do with things, you know, sh moving around on the screen as the page loads. And total blocking time. So total blocking time is, see these orange X's? That means all this CSS is blocking other things from loading. Now, every website blocks things. You know what I mean? You can't really, I'd say most, you can't really get rid of it, but it's sometimes it can be a problem. And in your case, it's not a problem, even though you have things blocking. And this is, this is pretty average. Um, you're loading 50 assets, see 50, so 50, I guess, files, you could say. So that's good. And the average website, the, just to give you an idea, the average website loads probably about 100, 150. So you're not loading a lot. And you're at your website size is 2.1 megs. So that's pretty good. The average website is about um, three megs, so you're under there too. So what sticks out is there's a lot of, so this, this, so this is, this C CSS, oh, let me show you. So the thing here, the largest contentful paint, you can clearly see where your issue is. It highlights where it's slow, it's detecting the problem and it's loading this, this main, this image of the mountains up top. So that's where we need to focus on. Um, so looking here, what it looks like to me and I, I use SiteGround for all my websites, and I'm pretty happy with it. They've lost a little bit of quality over the last year, but I think for the price, it's still one of the best uh, bangs, bang, bangs for your buck. That's I don't know if that's how you say it or not. So you can see here, this is doing the DNS lookup. This is a really good sh uh, short load time. This is the TCP IP handshake, or actually that's just a TCP connect, I guess. I've actually never really looked into that. This is the SSL handshake. And you can see this light blue line is this HTML. Look how long it's waiting before even doing th doing anything. That just tells me something isn't cached properly or something isn't optimized, or you have something that just is taking a long time to load. That Sometimes that can be the hosting provider, but I doubt it is with SiteGround. So that's something I would want to look at. This is taking a while to load, this JavaScript. Um, okay, so you are using SiteGround Optimizer, which is their plugin. Interesting. And it looks like you're, this is probably minifying. Oh, it's combining, this is their combining the JavaScript. Interesting. So, that may be a, interesting. Okay, this font's taking a long time to load for some reason. <laughs> font waves, and it's coming from the Soledad theme. So, we want to look into that. So, the, and the, these images are pretty long lines here. And you can see this image. It's kind of buggy. Let me click back on it. Is this image, is that? And you can see that image is 200K. So we could probably reduce the size of that and compress it a little bit. There's multiple things I could look on if you look at. There's, if you want me to look into it, I'll need um, your site ground ID. Because um, I don't need that for all hosting providers because not all hosting provider offer performance settings. But I know site ground does. So I would need to log in and check that. And then I would need your, a WordPress login so I could log in and check check that. Um, yeah, and just make sure you have a backup. SiteGround does backup, so that's good. Because sometimes things can break while troubleshooting. And um, so you have the backup there, so that's good. So I'd be happy to look into it. I'm not, I wouldn't buy the gig yet because sometimes I can't figure it out. You know what I mean? I'm pretty smart, but I can't. Sometimes it's just 
It could be like a plugin causing the issue. And if you don't have like a buggy plugin or something or a bug, a, bu a plugin conflicting with another plugin. And if you're not willing to like find a new plugin or you can't find a new plugin because you spent too much time on it, then there's not much I can do. Right. Because if it's the plugin causing the issue, there's not much I can do. So if you'd like me to look like me to look into it, let me know. I'd be happy to. And we can go from there. Oh, and if you want that security out, let me know. I think it's what I do is I go through like. 30 different things. I mean, it's very, very detailed. And I make a video like this for you going step by step over what the issues are. And I also have an agency license for iTheme Security Pro. So, it, it, you know, two factor authentication, all that stuff built into it. You can have that for free, too. So at a, the price you the price you pay for the audit. And right now the audit's real cheap. It's like 30 bucks because I'm trying to get it at Fiverr Pro level. Eventually it's going to be 150. Um, so at, at, at a minimum, you'll just get a free iTheme Security Pro plugin. And I have a video on how to configure it if you want to do it on your own, or I could do it for you as a gig. So not to upsell too much, but that, this is where I'm coming from. Let me know if you have any questions, and hopefully I'll talk to you soon.